Nine-year-old Charlotte Cena, who vanished from her family holiday whilst riding a bike in an upstate New York park, has thankfully been found inside of a cabinet inside of her abductor's camper van. The camper van is housed on the abductor's mother's property. Charlotte had been missing for two days after she was snatched from Moreau Lake State Park in Gansevoort. We're told that she's been taken to hospital and she is in good health. So wonderful news. Best wishes to her and her family. Well done to the officers concerned. A 47 year old man, his name Craig Ross Jr. has been arrested. He's currently under questioning. He hasn't been charged as yet. That's likely to change very soon. We're told that the abductor Craig Ross Jr. lived inside of a trailer at his mother's property on Barrett Road in Milton, New York. Two SWAT teams swooped on the property in helicopters. We're told the abductor, Craig Ross Jr., put up a struggle. Thankfully, Charlotte was found in a cabinet. She was covered up. She was hiding, but she immediately realized that she was being rescued. One of the pictures in the video, we see Charlotte in a vehicle. I'm thinking that that's after she's been rescued. I may have that wrong, but that is my interpretation. So, of course, the investigation is still ongoing. The details are yet to be 100% confirmed but we believe that the abductor Craig Ross Jr. drove up to Charlotte Cena's parents home at 4.20 a.m. Monday morning and left a ransom note inside their mailbox. On that ransom note was DNA and fingerprints. It took a while but the forensic scientists were able to connect that DNA, connect the fingerprints to the abductor Craig Ross Jr. due to an arrest which occurred 1999. We're told that Craig Ross Jr. is not a registered sex offender so I don't know that gives me some hope that Charlotte wasn't essayed and of course I do hope and pray that she's able to overcome all of the trauma that she suffered and again we are told that she has been taken to hospital and that she is in good health we're told that Charlotte was cycling alone in Morrow Lake State Park in New York when she vanished at 6 15 p.m on Saturday so the ransom note was delivered close to 48 hours after that and she was rescued on a property which was around 13 miles south of her family home so that's all the information that we have at this point again well done congratulations for charlotte's family and friends of course a huge relief well done to the officers the investigators the swat teams everyone concerned it seems that some angels have been looking over charlotte they've done a wonderful job in protecting her i do hope that she didn't suffer extensive abuse we're told again that she's in good health so we've got reason to be hopeful that she'll be fine as long as she gets the love and support and counseling that she's no doubt going to need but that's all i have so i'm going to wrap things up if you appreciate the coverage please do like comment subscribe share the video as you see fit and take care